Do you ever find yourself in a situation with your orchid collection that you have to get a move on with an orchid, but you feel as though today is not the day? However, there is no more time left. Tomorrow isn't the day either. Hands are shaky, you're indecisive, and all of those things influencing your mind? If not, you're lucky. Personally, I have me one of those days. I'm going to mount Dendrobium exile. I know what I want to do, but it's like, why can't I just pull the trigger? So I'm way behind because you can see your nice root tips here, which are going to get destroyed. It's a shame. I still I hope to have a little bit more grace because I've got two new growths coming. So whatever damage I do today, I'm hoping that those two new growths will then take over. But I don't know, it's just taken me a long time to get a move on with this orchid. So if you see shaky hands, that's because I am completely, well, I'm having an out of body moment today, but I can't delay any further. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Wish us luck. Now, I can see that on the top here, I don't have that many roots. And if I cut through some live ones, oh, well, collateral damage, <laughs> it's going to happen anyway with the rest of the mount. But the main concentration is down here. So I'm going to respect that. But I'm going to have to work with two new growths that are coming up flush right up against the scrubby pad, which I'm not taking all off. But if I can cut away scrubby pad to about here, get rid of this top part. That to me would already be a major, major, let's say win. So that's what I'm going to start with. Figure out where my hands go, stop the shaking and just get on with it, right? Now I've prepared fishing line. I have my green horticultural thread. I would like to use my nails and hooks things. What else have I got? <laughs> A wire if need be. I've got all the options. And the hook thing would be ideal, but if this is already brittle, then the hook thing is pretty much out the window because I would need to put that in here for the stability. But if that's already unstable, maybe my decision has already been made. My options with a hook thing is not going to be a possibility. Can I just break this? Yeah, you see how brittle that is? Okay, oh baby, baby, look. I, I hate this, I hate this. Okay, keep going. Oh. All right, but we have the two new growths, thank goodness. Those are very important. Okay, now, I can't remove anything here. I've got lots of roots, but I can go and take a little bit of this side out. I don't want to go too mad because this orchid, even though she's got this fantastic growth habit, she is thirsty. So let me get the mount and see if I can leave the scrubby pad on. Respecting the direction of growth. Sorry, I just had to find my new growths. Crushing roots in the back while I'm at it. Yikes. No, I can take this bit off. Although then she will look even more lopsided. You see? Indecision, indecision. I'm, I'm just like, ugh, this is not my day. But I can't wait any longer. It's already way overdue to deal with this orchid. Yeah, I'm leaving it on. It gives me a buffer. Oh, I'm leaving it on. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to convince myself that this is the right thing. I don't know where this is coming from. Let me know in the comments if you have days like this as well, where you're indecisive, but you have to get on with the project and get the tag in place before I start messing with the orchid. I may need to make myself a new tag, but I have reasons for keeping old tags. Nothing to do with sentimental value, just to keep sure and keep track of a memory that didn't bode so well when it came to purchasing this orchid. 
Uh, one more last look. Ooh, loo, 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 loo. There we go. One wire. Oh, I can feel those roots in the back. They're asking me, why, why, what did I do to you? And I also have to watch the growth that are up against the hedge. I don't want to break anything. So I'm going to move everything back a bit. <laughs> oh. You see, this is what is going on with me today. I even thought, don't film it, just do it. And I thought, no, no, maybe there's people out there that can relate. It's just a, the weirdest feeling ever. It's like I'm doing this for the first time. I don't know where my brain is at. There's no coordination. Brain to hand, thoughts, execution. And my heart rate is going 100 miles an hour. So, so strange. It's like, I don't know why, man. I really don't. But it's done. It's done. Oh my goodness. We can observe this route and see if it, there's going to be touched down anytime soon. Whew, okay. What I thought is that if it goes this well, I'm also going to do an update on all the mounts. So if you're up for it, let's look at the orchids that have already been mounted. There are positive developments. Very excited. This is my last orchid that I wanted to mount and it was a last minute decision, so to speak. She was not on the schedule, but I think this is gonna work out so much better in the long run. In no particular order, but I will put up the dates on which I mounted the orchids that I'm gonna update you on at this point in time. I do know that I started out with Brassavola flagellaris. <laughs> yes, because, you know, how can you forget your first cork bark mount with the hybrid of my inorganic mount? But I have good news. Old roots are branching, even though some are not entirely sure where they should be going. At least one branch is going down and into the hop filter material. Right underneath there is the cork. The majority of the new growths on this orchid are growing their new roots. They are ever so generous. <laughs> Two new roots per growth. Anyway, I can see that they are for the most part heading in the direction of the hob filter material, which is awesome. One has already reached the hob filter material. <clears throat> Cork is right behind it. And we have touchdown. Woohoo! That one root tip that I was concerned about that I needed to bring through safely on the mount. Well, look at where it's gotten to. And esto es muy importante. I am so proud of this root that it made it through. And we have touched down not only with that root, but with another root that came out from the back. And it's showing its beautiful root tip right now. And it has also touched the cork. Happy days. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay, of course. Never mind the winter. Do not ask me how I feel about all this in the winter. Right now, I'm living in the moment. I am enjoying the fact I don't have to worry about this huge melt. Moving it. Anyway, next to that is my Podangus dactyloceras. And oh, what a blessing. What a blessing to have this orchid mounted. I did not want to grow it mounted. But since it's been on the mount, I don't have to worry about misting. The hob filter material is really retaining the moisture. She is getting hydrated like she's never been hydrated before. I have touched down on the branching where I put the root into the canyon of the cork. Yes! and one of the branches on the outside. It looks like it's going to be bending towards the cork. We shall wait and see. On top of all of that, she's got three spikes that I can tell. Last year, she gave me four. <laughs> I'll take three. I'll take this orchid alive, even if she doesn't bloom. Just want her to do well. And then I have my Phalaenopsis pulchra. I call her Dr. Shivago for obvious reasons. 
Ooh la la. One root that is under the hop filter material is starting to branch. Okay, it's gonna start peeking out on the other side. I mean, like, why not? You know, you're trying to keep an orchid hydrated. Why can't you just go the opposite direction? Anyway, it's nice to see that she is growing a lot of new roots. Hydration here is not an issue anymore either. Even the keiki is going bonkers. I can see that this, of course, is going to work. Even the old roots on the keikis are starting to extend, never mind all the new roots that are coming. I hope the new roots <laughs> on the mother plant will, <clears throat> maybe one of them will find their way to the mount. That would be lovely. Pulcra's roots go everywhere so i'm keeping this one super super hydrated so that maybe the humidity teases them into the direction i want them to grow my brassavola perinii i cannot see any new root action on the new growth but all the old roots that we fiddled out so so carefully <laughs> from that tag well they're all extending happy to say not a single root tip was lost during that operation just waiting for new roots to grow now and they shouldn't have any issue finding them out my Dendrorum serratellarium is the only one that is actually not really proving itself at all. I don't see any new growth at the base. Maybe this is one of the ones that just will sulk. I don't know. But still, it's not declining. None of the canes are looking any way, shape or form wrinkled. So that's fine. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Get over it, Sharky. Why don't you? Seraula doing great. The new roots that I was observing a couple of weeks ago, they have somewhat disappeared. I believe they're in that algae mess, let's just say, and everything is fine. She is blooming, not as vigorously as she did last year. It's hardly surprising she lost quite a bit of the root system when I sawed her off, but still, I am happy that I put her on her own mount. And one of the new roots right at the back with a new growth has already found its way down into the older part of the mount. But you know what? I'm happy to see how she's progressing here. Dendrobium unicum. Whoop, we got to this one right on time. Is starting on new roots now, which is awesome. So this is what I should have done with my exilib. But yeah, so many things to do. So much going on this time of year. So <laughs> this is the stage I wanted my exile at, but she's doing great. The roots that are coming out the top that were there when I mounted her, they are hydrating. So I'm not seeing any issues with this orchid whatsoever. Even the new growth is progressing nicely. Now, knocking it out of the park when it comes to root growth is my Dendrobium bensoniae. Mm, what a joy. All the old roots that are extending or branching, well, they are very close to the mount and they have reached the mount to some degree. It's not going to be long now because also the new roots that are growing, yeah, <laughs> guess what? They will be finding very, very soon. Dendrobium bensoniae does not cease to impress me. Absolutely love this orchid. Still a few blooms on her. Still got the vanilla sugar fragrance in the air. But right now the main focus is watching the roots, seeing how they will behave. And so far, doing great. So an orchid that is not going to be so obvious to tell if the roots are hitting the mount until much, much further down the line is the polyanthem. That is because of her moss pillow. Before anything happens with new roots hitting the cork, they have quite some distance to cover, but she's not declining. I can't see any older canes shriveling up in stress. So whatever I chopped off of her, at least it's not a detriment to her progress. All her growths are coming out beautifully. I can see when I water this orchid that the back roots are hydrating. That is very helpful. And then I can see a cluster of new roots heading into the moss pillow right in the center. So we should be okay with polyanthem. And then of course, in winter, I'm going to check myself with regards to the watering and see if I can make a difference with how the decline at the base of the canes are not gonna repeat themselves based on me holding back on the water. And little twinkle, I've got root growth. Can you believe it? These puny little weak growths. I have two or three roots coming. One of them has already touched the mound. Isn't that awesome? So I'm hopeful. It's going to be a nightmare if I want to put her back in a pot. But for now, this is working. Fingers crossed that as we get a little bit hotter and drier, that this continues to work and she doesn't slow down her momentum. So far, so twinkle. <laughs> and just because gorgeous, not because we just remounted her. Dendrobium Victoria Regina. 
still in bloom. Yes, I'm losing some blooms and some blooms are looking a little bit more tired. But what do you know? One of the very, very old canes is showing another bud. Now, if that doesn't frazzle up with the hot and dry wind, I'm going to be even more astounded than I already am with this orchid. Be exciting to see what that bud looks like on the oldest canes this orchid has, the ones that she came with. <laughs> And that is the update of Dendrobium Row, the mounts that I have on cork from 2023. That is Exili. We just did this orchid. I just want to show you if it's even possible. Look at this orchid. I mean, it was doing so well on the scrubby pad, I had no intention of mounting it because it just performed beautifully. But look at where it's growing. <laughs> she's not hanging any higher than she did before <laughs> yeah I think it's a good decision to put her on a mount because wow I would like to make sure that she really really gets to come onto her own now <laughs> this is wonderful I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you can agree with me that the progress is actually wonderful Give this video a like if you would be so inclined. And also if you have not subscribed to my channel. Uh, what are you waiting for? Spoiler alert. Not a mount. Vanda Costylis, Loose Neary Blue. First time on the patio. Two spikes in bloom at the same time. So more of that in another video. So please subscribe. You won't miss a thing of what is going on on the patio. I appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.